Welcome back everybody, uh, back here with another uh, golf course designer video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do slopes. Uh, slopes can be something that can be very frustrating to uh, actually make and do correctly in this game, especially large downhill or large uphill slopes. So today I'm going to run through and just show you guys how to do that pretty easily. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create myself a little hole. Typically, you got to do larger slopes on uphill and downhill, or uh, not uphill and downhill, longer holes like par fours, par fives. So I'm going to do like a 400 yard par four. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to clear most of the things down the pipe of the hole. And now, looking at the layout of the land of this hole, I think I want this to go up right here. This to be a big knoll, then to come back down here, and then to go back up here to create kind of a, a wavy landscape. Now, we'll come in here, we'll come to our flatten tool, we'll come to this one in particular down here in the bottom left. This is going to be the tool that you use most for flattening in the game, or at least the one that I use most. It's the easiest one. It creates the smoothest slopes. And here we go, getting into our slopes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come down here to our bottom, the lowest spot into my valley. And I'm just gonna flatten this spot out a little bit. Now that we've got a little flat spot, and now that we've got an up spot coming right here, what you can do is you can come up this, and you see how it's kind of raising everything just a little bit? You'll come up it, click flatten, and then you've got about a one foot raise right here. And then you'll come up a little bit further up this hill, click, got about a five foot raise, a little bit further up this hill, and as you can see what it's doing here is, is it is slowly making a slope, this is our slope so far, kind of see it right here, it's starting to come together, uh, come up a little bit further, and the main thing about this is right here is our flat zone, what you want to do is wherever you want to click is coming up this slope a little bit. So as you can see, it'll make a more severe slope if I click up top, or a slider one if I click down. I usually like somewhere in the middle, depending on the size of my slope. And we're almost at the top of our hill. And there we go, we're at the top of our hill. And now we have a slanted fairway. It is slanting up. This is a slight slant right here, not a whole bunch. Uh, you can change how... Uh, steep your slants are by doing the size. If I were to do a smaller size, this slope would be a lot steeper, uh, which I'm going to do up here. I'm going to do a little bit of a steeper slope up here. I think I'm just going to have a small little catch area up on this part. So you can also work from the top of your hills. You don't have to work from the bottom. I'm going to use a medium size right here. Do one click. And the way you do this is you come and you drop off the edge with your pointer just a little bit. So you see how it's kind of bringing things down just a little bit? I'm dropping off the edge just a little bit. Drop off the edge. Come down a little more. Drop off the edge. Come down. Drop off. And come down and drop off even more. Now we've got a bigger slope coming down that's all smoothed out this is going to feed all the golf balls down to here uh, and that, that's the that's the gist of the idea of the slopes it's it's really only done with this one shape it's really easy to do uh, the more you do it the more you get used to it you'll have to do this a lot for example on cart paths like if I come in here and create surface cart paths blind I come up here like, I don't know, near the green somewhere. I got a bunch of big slopes like this. This is where you'll use the smaller shape and you'll have a little bit steeper slopes. So we'll come in here, we'll start flattening this. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. Long ways makes uh, longer slopes and sideways makes steeper slopes. Uh, it just depends on the scenario you're in. So I'm gonna do long ways just for this one. And as you can kind of see, if you're doing it a little bit too fast, you can create these little humps up in here. So you have to come in kind of kind of slow and kind of go little bit by little bit. As I said, long ways is for the long slopes. So this is going to be a long hill instead of a 
an immediate step up. And this is the gist of how you do this. Uh, you can do it on some very, very big slopes. It does work. Uh, it's just harder to do on the larger the slope. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly show you guys uh, how the hole is going to kind of play with these slopes. So I'm just going to place down a quick little fairway spline, nothing special. I'm going to click on that. Edit. Filled. And just to show you that the slopes are there, I'm going to play test hole now of course it didn't work on the tee boxes at all but you can see very clearly now with this number right here that this goes up from 5 feet up all the way to 13 feet up from the bottom to the top and then our faster decline here goes from 13 all the way down to 4 in just this shorter amount of time so this is going to allow our shots to land in here and roll out and kind of funnel down this, down to this little landing area down here. And there we go. And that's the gist of how to make bigger slopes. Uh, this same exact concept works on a smaller scale on the greens, uh, the same way as I was, I was showing you with uh, these over here. Uh, if we actually come up to the greens, I can kind of show you what I mean. Uh, there are all, there are two two ways really to do slopes on a green. I will come in here and show you real quick. You come in here, flatten your whole green out. So we're gonna go ahead and just flatten all this. So we go in uh, for greens. Usually the easiest way to do it I find is coming here to your sculpt. Landscape tools flatten, just find a shape, and you raise it a foot or so. Raise this one two feet. This gives it a profile up above everything, and then what you want to do, I'm going to go ahead and place my simple little green down. I'm just going to make this a simple little circle, just so I can show you the slopes. So what you can do to add movement to this green and also make it more visible for the players is uh, first off by adding tiers in the back. Tiers in the back will raise up the back of the green to make it easier to see. But uh, you also want some slopage to it. So the easiest way to add slopage is to come in here to raise, grab this boy right here. You want it to be up at a few feet, probably like four feet or so, and then make it really big. Like quite big. Might go down to three feet and then what you want to do is you want to have the bottom line of the spline on the green so you see how the bottom line of the blue area is on our green we place it we come down and now we have a sloping green from back to front that is a consistent or at least fairly consistent slope all in one way and then if we really want to to make some tiers what I can come in here and do is I can just raise this area up a little bit now we've got a tier up there or you can flatten it as well if you want the area flattened instead of uh, having some awkward slopes you can do a flatten um, maybe come over here and make this whole top tier a tier and we got two tiers it's uh, all got some break in it and we've got a got some playable slopes now I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. But this is pretty much it for the uh, slopes video. Uh, have a good day.